Hello people, welcome back to Beauty Jam. It's been a long time since I've said that. I am so sorry for how dead this channel currently is. I do have some videos in the pipeline though, don't worry. This is the first video I'm ever recording. Oh, did my voice just crack? I think it did. This is the first video I'm ever recording without face cam. And um, I've, some videos will be like this from now on just because it's easier for me at the moment and I'd rather give you guys some type of content rather than my channel just being practically dead for months on end like it has been. Not every video is going to be like that, like I will still film face cam as and when I can, but um, I'd rather just give you something than nothing. Does that make sense? So, anyway, today I wanted to talk about Spyro 4 because I've recently been playing Crash Bandicoot, uh, I was about to say Crash 5, no. I've recently been playing Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time, over on the gaming channel and um, I'm loving it, currently loving it. I have finished the whole game, I'm just on the collecting gems and stuff now, but whilst I've been playing the game, there have been a few easter eggs for Spyro 4, so now it's official, you know? Uh, at first it was just all speculation, like, oh, I wonder if they will, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. but now we've got like solid evidence pretty much that Spyro 4 was going to happen. Um, I did do a blog post on this where I listed them all, but you've got some examples like the Spyro floaty in the very first level, which I absolutely loved. There's also a Spyro balloon in Offbeat, and there's also a hint in the art book. Uh, I think it was for Food Run, the level was. It was one of those levels anyway. And it actually says Spyro 4 on the picture well the graphic and they even say in the text next to it so guys you know this is happening and i wanted to share my excitement and my ideas and just things um i was gonna pose this on the gaming channel but then i decided against it because i thought you know i want to post some on beauty jam and beauty jam is more of a talky review slash spec not speculation but like it is more of a talky channel like uh, gamer jams a lot more just gameplay you know so that's why I'm posting it here <sighs> yes I'm very excited we've got the evidence now that they are working on it pretty much because they wouldn't put spoilers like that in a game if they're not working on anything you know so that to me pretty much tells me straight away that they are working on it when it's going to be released or what the story is or how or you know when they're going to announce I have no idea but that pretty much tells me that they're definitely working on it so I just wanted to go through a few things that I don't know how to put it just things that I'd, I'd like Spyro 4 to do you know um, so the first thing that I want to see in Spyro 4 I can't believe I'm saying this but it's money bags. <laughs> I would love money bags to come back. I don't. I don't know why he's always just stealing off us um, with the gems and blah blah. But I just feel like since Spyro 2, he gave a meaning to collect gems. You know, Spyro 1, you collected the dragons to progress. I know that some of the balloons, the balloonists, did say you have to collect so many. Uh, gems to get on that hot air balloon to go to the next world but it, they weren't very high the gem counts weren't very high you'd pretty much collected them anyway if you just ran through the levels so I think money bags actually gave a reason for people to collect gems because I've watched so many like gameplays and stuff of Spyro Spyro 4 I've watched so many gameplays and stuff of people playing Spyro and they just don't collect the gems you know so I would like them to give more of an emphasis on a way to collect gems and, and I think money bags is the perfect way to do that. Um, like in Spyro 3 you used to have to pay to unlock the characters, Spyro 2 who was just placed here and there to unlock certain things and I think that's a great way. So I would love to see money bags back to be honest. Now Ripto is my favourite boss uh, in the Spyro franchise if you like. 
Um, why? I can't really give a reason why he's my favourite, but he just, I just, compared to the others, I like him, you know? So, I'd love to see Ripto make a comeback. Perhaps he wants revenge on Spyro. Um, I know that Enter the Dragonfly Ripto was brought back, like the Spyro 4 we have now, Enter the Dragonfly. Ripto was brought back. Um, and in the original plan for that game, he was supposed to have joined forces with Nasty Nork and they were supposed to both have gone against Spyro for Enter the Dragonfly. And I think that was a brilliant idea, like having the two bosses join forces to get revenge on Spyro. I think that's a very, very good idea that never actually got executed. So I would love to see that happen um, in this Spyro 4. I'm not saying to follow Enter the Dragonfly's story or anything, but I would just like to see Ripto back. And if he wants to join forces with another Spyro boss, like Nasty Nook or the Sorceress, because Ripto and the Sorceress are both sorceresses, you know, sorcerers, that's it. Um, so they would go together as well and you know and, and you could even like have it in the story that kind of like um, Crash It's About Time the two bosses could turn on each other and create this whole other storyline with the, the bad guys but I don't know guys I'm waffling but I would love to see Ripto back and if that means that Crush and Gulp are coming back as well I'm not mad at that at, at all you know Whilst we're on the subject of characters, I would actually like to see the playable characters come back. I know there was a lot of controversy around Sheila with her new design and stuff, but without bringing that into it, I did love the fact that they switched it up in Spyro 3 where you had different characters. You had Sheila who was a kangaroo and she could jump really high. You had Sergeant Bird who was, you could fly around and shoot missiles. You had Bentley who was pretty much there, you know. And then you had Agent 9, which is probably my favourite. Now that I think, mind you, it's Sergeant Bird. I like Sergeant Bird. But you had Agent 9 as well, who was like a robot monkey and you could shoot lasers. And, you know, I did like the, the fact that it brought new game controls with the new characters. And it kind of broke the, the game up, you know? So I would like to see the, the same playable characters back. I would love to see those four back. But also perhaps some more, if they could add them in. I know that in Spyro A Hero's Tale we got to play as Blink, who was the professor's um, nephew. That's a thought. I'd love to see the professor back like he was in A Hero's Tale. He'd be pretty cool to bring back. Yeah, because he didn't really have a part in Spyro 3. You went to one island where he was and that was it. So the professor back would be good and I know that you got to play as his nephew in A Hero's Tale. So perhaps they could bring uh, Blink into it i don't know but um just more playable characters i would like i love spyro and you know i don't want the game to be overcrowded with characters but i did like the fact that you got to play as a few new people you the know next thing i'd like to see in spyro 4 would actually be the different flame breaths now i know that like i don't want to go off into the dragonfly here because you know that game was dreadful pretty much but you did have the different breath abilities and that was one thing that made me absolutely love that game when i was younger it was just the idea of having different breaths um but you also had the same idea in a hero's tale where you had the different breaths you had electricity and stuff and i did like i do like that idea um i don't think a hero's tale did it as well as Enter the Dragonfly, not talking about controls, just about the idea of it. Um, Enter the Dragonfly, you had to kind of collect um, runes, whereas A Hero's Tale, you just unlocked them when you fought the boss, you know? So, I would actually like to see the different breath abilities, and if they can think of any more, then um, yeah, I'm all for that. I, do, I love electricity breath and having different breath abilities to do different things. Um, unlock different places in the level and figure out different puzzles. I just think it's a great mechanic. So yeah, I would love to see the different flame breaths coming back. I wouldn't really want the flame breaths to be the main collection thing. Um, like Spyro 1, we, we collected 
dragons, Spyro 2 we collected orbs, Spyro 3 we were collecting eggs, which were also dragons, but eggs, you know, dragon eggs, you know. Spyro entered the dragonfly, we were collecting uh, dragonflies, and then Spyro A Hero's Tale, we were we were um, destroying slash collecting dark gems. Um, so it's been a different thing you've been collecting in each game, so I would like to see a different collection item. So that I just wanted to mention that I don't I wouldn't want the breaths to be like the main collection thing. I would like to see a different collection thing, but I do think the breaths would be a great um addition to the game because we haven't seen it so far in this new era of Spyro. We haven't seen it. Um I just want to mention now I have only played up to a hero's tale. So whatever happens in the legend trilogy in Spyro, I have no idea because i haven't played them i will play them one day on the channel but um not yet I, ha I haven't got the circumstances at the moment to play any playstation 2 games so i'm currently sticking with playstation 4 but i have promised that i am going to play that uh whole trilogy so i will definitely play it one day but up to this point i haven't played it so yeah a different collection thing could be great for the actual story i have no idea i have seen a few rumors online of the story that's been going around but i'm not gonna say anything on this video because it's not facts it's not facts at all and you know i, do, I don't want to say anything and then get someone's hopes up and then it not come to fruition you know so i i don't really want to speak on story or anything like that because i don't know but one thing i would uh like to mention is the home worlds that we have um I would like more. I don't know why, but I just... Like, Spyro 1, we had five main homeworlds. And each homeworld had an average of, like, what, four, five levels, would you say? Um, and I, I liked that. Four or five levels. But then Spyro 2, we then, like, it dropped right down to just three homeworlds. And admittedly, some of those homeworlds did have a lot more... Uh, levels in like autumn plains has loads of levels in it um and then spyro 3 we had the four home worlds you know i do feel like spyro 2 is missing a spring home world but apparently it was never even discussed to have a spring home world because i used to think that maybe they would ran out of time and they just put the game out as winter autumn and um summer you know but apparently not apparently it it that's how it was the three they never even planned to have a spring home world but that's just you know that's just how it is so like i'm saying we had five home worlds then we had three then we had four um i would like them to go back to perhaps spyro one and have the five again i love the different feel of the home worlds and kind of like crash um it's about time he had the different islands but each island has its own feel you know you've got like the desert island then you've got the pirate island then you've got tranquility falls whatever you want to call that island like japanese let's say then you've got the snow island then you've got the jurassic island like each island has its own feel and that's what i liked about spyro like each homeworld has its own feel so I would like them to bring that back, but I would like more. I, I would like them to go back to perhaps Spyro 1, which was a lot more, like you had five main homeworlds and then perhaps four to five levels in each homeworld, plus a speedway. I would also like to see speedways back. I can't believe I'm saying that either, because I absolutely, oh, speedways are not my friend. But I would like to see them back because they are a staple of the Spyro, um, what's the word? franchise i guess they've been in every game so of course i would love to see them back in this spyro 4 uh, nothing too difficult though and i don't want no developer times for the speedways either thank you whoever's gonna be developing this no thanks but um i would like to see the speedways back another thing i'd love to see is um backtracking i know i can't believe i'm saying that either but um Backtracking, I have, I actually like, to be honest. Um, Spyro 1 doesn't have backtracking. You can play Spyro 1 from the very get-go. 
right the way through and collect absolutely everything without having to go back anywhere. I know that some people actually prefer games that way, they prefer to just start to finish, collect everything done. Um, but I am a lot more, I, I like backtracking, I like collecting things and then I like being able to go back and unlock things that certain players wouldn't be able to unlock because now I've collected the things. Um, I'm that type of gamer, I always have been pretty much. Spyro 1 is missing that but Spyro 2 and Spyro 3 both implemented backtracking. You know, uh, Spyro 2 you had to go back when you had a certain ability. Um, um, the only exam the example I'm thinking of is like in some Sunny Beach. When you very first play Spyro 2, you can't complete Sunny Beach because you need to learn how to climb. And you can't learn how to climb until you get to Autumn Plains, which is the next homeworld. So then once you've learned how to climb, you had to come back to Sunny Beach to collect the rest of the orbs and the gems. And I love that idea because it means that you just, I don't know, it just gives you more of an accomplished feeling, I feel. Uh, Spyro 2 did this, um, Spyro 3 did the same with the uh, unlockable characters. Some levels you couldn't finish because you needed to unlock a character that you hadn't unlocked yet. And I would like to see the backtracking implemented again. I don't know, I just really would love it. But I'm a lot more of a completionist kind of playthrough uh, gamer. Game player? You know, you know what I mean. Um, I prefer to like complete things and I love seeing things 100% and done. So maybe that's why you, you just feel a little bit more special when you've backtracked and you've done something that, you know, not everyone has done. And uh, yeah, talking about completionists, um, the Spyro 100% completion, I don't know, rewards? I, I don't know, they're, they're not there for me, really. I mean, Spyro 1, you complete Spyro 1 100%, you unlock a level which is all gems and I love that like I love going into Nasty's loot and collecting those 2,000 purple gems you know what I mean um, and that's you know pretty decent pretty decent but then you skip to Spyro 2 and you, you get you get a bonus round well a bo <laughs> bonus round you get a bonus level but the only thing you get for 100% in the game like actually 100% is the super flame breath ability and some concept art which i don't i you know <sighs> and then spyro 3 they kind of jump back to spyro 1 where you have to run around this bonus level collect all these gems chase all these thieves do all these little mini games which some are really annoying looking at you hunter and the skateboard and then you know you get a boss fight a second boss fight and uh, i don't know it's just the 100% completions are just not there for me at the moment. Of course do bonus levels and things like that, I'm not saying not to do that, but I don't know, I just want I want more for being a completionist, you know what I mean? Like I feel like completionists need more than just an extra boss fight or, a, you know, chasing a few thieves, doing a few mini games or just unlocking super flame. You know, I just feel like we need more. Perhaps they could incorporate skins. I know that Crash 4 has got a lot of skins. Um, we had a lot of skins in CTR as well. So perhaps they could incorporate little cute outfits for Spyro that you can unlock for being, a, you know, completing levels. Kind of like Crash 4 has done. Uh, that would be cool. I would love that. Um, so, yeah. I would like to see more, like, a, a better 100% completionist reward. Does that make sense? <sighs> anyway, I've enjoyed talking about Spyro for 20 minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanted to throw this little video out. I'm sorry, guys, that this channel's just been absolutely... To be honest, I've thought about it every week and I feel really, really guilty for not uploading and I hate it. I absolutely hate it, but COVID has just... Whew, it's uh, took its toll on me and my finances and my time and I'm absolutely hating it so something had to go and I had to pick between my two channels and I just thought I'd rather keep the gaming one going because number one it's easier for me to film and number two I knew that if I didn't carry gaming on the games would then get on top of me and then I wouldn't be able to play brand new games on the channel as they were coming out so I just ha I had to pick you know 
but I have got a few videos coming on this channel I know you know I am gonna film a few without face cam because that would be much easier for me although running a channel without face cam or without showing you physical things this type of channel anyway is a bit difficult but if there's anything you know I might do a few like mini podcast things I don't want to say podcast, but just a few videos like this. It's not a podcast, but it's just me talking about something or rambling about something or just throwing ideas out on the internet. And yeah, I can do this. Like, this is easy. I can film. I could film a video every single day doing this. I, honestly, I could because I can just sit down in the evening and record me talking about something. It's so simple. But the awkwardness comes with the face cam and having physical object to review or having a video idea that's not that I don't feel is mediocre or anything like that whenever I couldn't do face cam before I used to do a nail tutorial not that I didn't want to film nail tutorials because most of my nail tutorial tutori most of my nail tutorials I have wanted to film but um, they have usually been uploaded when I haven't had a video but I couldn't do like 12 weeks of nail tutorials so I'm just having to kind of think on my feet what can I do for beauty jam and this is this is what I came up with just kind of podcast style rambling about different things throwing ideas out and you know I've said all this but you know this is the best thing I could think of and I hope you guys don't mind but I can say this um, hopefully if things go back to normal in a few more months, let's hope, then maybe Beauty Jam can come back. I have got a few videos already filmed, face cam and everything, so you haven't got to think that I'm not here anymore, because I am. I am still here, but it's just very difficult for me at this particular time. I hope you guys understand. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's going to be it for this Spyro video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I am still active on my gaming channel if you are interested. I upload there twice a week, face cam and everything. And um, I'm currently playing through Crash 4, it's about time. I've already played through the whole story but we're collecting gems and time relics and things like that at the moment. And if a Spyro 4 ever does come out, that will be where I play it. So um, yeah, if you are interested in the gaming channel then I'll leave it in the cards and I'll also leave a link in the description below so you can go and check that channel out. But as for this video, I'm going to leave it here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for more videos from me. Make sure you check out my other videos. And yeah, I will see you next time.